Early this morning, a structure that was ablaze in Richmond alerted police and fire crews to the scene where a witness stated that a man was inside the burning home smoking a cigarette as the structure went up in flames. First Trust Bank can help make your money do more. Ask about their CDs with annual percentages ranging from 2.27 APY to 2.53 APY. First Trust Bank has the staff dedicated to better serve you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, and MLS number 688788. The man, Jackie Powell of North Estill Avenue, had to allegedly be physically removed from the home as it was erupting in flames. When police arrived at Dixie Plaza, they made contact with Powell, who gave officers a false identification as Chris Webb, according to the citation. Powell, during this time, kept running back to the burning home and wanted to break in and get in with a flashlight, according to officers. Powell was asked, according to officers, to stay away so that the fire department could perform their duties, but disregarded this multiple times and lunged at the burning home. Powell then allegedly grabbed a taser from the officer's holster. An altercation ensued, ending with Powell having to be pinned to the ground. The citation details that Powell continued to fight the officer, resulting in him incurring closed fist strikes to his face from the officer in an attempt to subdue him. EMS assessed Powell once he was detained, and he had to be transported to the hospital for his injuries, most notably smoke inhalation. It was not until he was in the hospital that it was revealed that Powell had given the false identity of Chris Webb. Powell allegedly told ER staff that he was depressed, but after being quickly treated, he was transported to the detention center and charged with third-degree assault on a police officer, disarming a police officer, and theft of identity of another without consent. Arson charges could be forthcoming as police are currently investigating the scene, which is heavily damaged, as you can see in the video. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.